Hello everybody. Good evening. Oh, almost fell. Good evening. Uh, Cameron here. Just on the haircut. Back at you with another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about <laughs> the time I dislocated my elbow. It was the biggest thing that went on in high school for me. It's what got me famous. I was a kid that broke his elbow on the football field. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, it sucked. Damn, I'm breathing hard because I... Whew, I don't know why. Hmm, hearing people. They're playing basketball. Okay, so... The time I dislocated my elbow... Not broke it, I dislocated it. Okay, so... The year was 2015. I was a freshman. Uh, high school was about to be over. I mean, I was about, how would you say it? Oh, it was about to be summer. It was April. It was April 12th or 13th. I was, uh, it was just a regular day. And um, I was, uh, I went to first hour and second hour I had PE, so. Uh, I don't know if you guys, a lot of you guys should know I'm very, I was, I am very athletic. And so, we went for our run and everything was going cool until we had to do, we just had to play sports, pick, pick a sport to play. There was, you could walk the track, you could, uh, damn I'm tired, you could walk the track, uh, you could uh, throw around football, play football. They're actually playing football, so I chose to play football. <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm the best football player in the world, but yeah, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I chose to play football, and everything was going fine. The grass was wet. The grass was wet, and nobody was slipping at first. But then I think I remember before I fell, somebody fell before me and they hit their butt. And so I was just laughing. I shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> but um, yeah, next couple plays we we're playing. I'm playing uh, wide receiver, which you know the guy that runs. And so I start running. Right, let's pretend I'm running. I start running really fast, like super fast. And then I was gonna stop, like you know, a fast sudden stop, so I could turn around and. As soon as I did that, I lost my feet. Just flew in the air. Which they just flew in the air, and I don't know why, but I put my I put my hand out like that, and uh, didn't go good. I landed like that. That's all I heard was just a pop. That's all I heard was a pop. Actually, I thought I was okay, and so I was laying on the ground because it kind of hurt. I think I got the wind knocked out of me a little bit and so I was just laying there and then I got up I tried to get up on my my right I was pushing down like that and my arms dislocated so my elbows dislocated so it wasn't doing any good and everybody just ran over to me uh, a friend of mine helped me up and but I was the nasty part was I was trying to get up Still, I was like kind of in shock. I was like pushing, but I couldn't get up because you know it's 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 all vulnerable. and yeah. But anyways, they helped me up, and then uh, and then everybody was like, "Oh, that's sick! That's gross! Oh, camera! Oh my god!" Uh, 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 and the girls were like, "Yeah!" And I was like, "Wait!" And I was just looking at my arm. I was just looking at it all in shock and you know and then one of my stupid friends that I used to be friends with uh, I'm still friends with him but we don't talk that much he was like let me take a picture let me take a picture so he grabbed my or I was holding my arm out and then he took a picture because I don't know because I was a freshman and we were stupid and then um, the PE teacher at the time Mr. Walsh he asked me if I was okay and uh, I said nope I dislocated it. <laughs> and then he was like, he's from Texas, so he's like, yeah, I know. 
And so we went to the the nursing uh the nurse place. A bat. We went to the um we went to the uh nurse's office. Yeah. And I just laid in there holding my arm in agony. Well I couldn't really feel at first because I was still you know, I had the adrenaline going. I was like, ah and then um I was really thirsty, so I was like Mr. Walsh, I'm thirsty. So they gave me some water. And then, who is it? Came to pick me up. Oh, yeah. And then my sister came to pick. Oh, almost fell. <laughs> Damn. Oh, uh, and then my sister came to pick me up. She just, she took her sweet, precious time because I didn't tell her that. I just looked at my elbow. I just said that I got hurt. And so she checked me out. And when I was walking out, bro, <laughs> everybody in the whole school was in the cafeteria for some reason. I mean, not everybody, but a lot of people were in the school and a lot of people from the school were in the cafeteria and as I was walking out teachers you know everybody was looking at it and they were like Ooh, and I was like yeah 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 and it was funny I was just laughing at first and then uh, so sister picked me up uh, she took me to my mom's then I started feeling it and I started freaking out. I looked down at my arm again and I was like, ooh, this is, this is really it. I was like, my arm is, I said broken. I was thinking my head broken at the time. My arm's broken. And so, yeah, so my mom took me to a hospital and they said, he dislocated your arm, your elbow pretty good, really good. And on the way there, I was, you know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I was crying a little bit, you know, I was freaking out crying. I was like, oh my god, Ooh, what was that? I was like, oh my god, and uh, my mom's getting tired from transition. And um, yeah, I was crying, and um, yeah, that's it, but I was putting a uh, I was putting a sling for like uh, a good uh, two weeks. They gave me some pills, and you know, you know the vibes when you break something or dislocate something. I had trouble putting my shirt on. My sisters had to help me with soak, and then uh, I went back to school like a week. No, like a couple of days later, I think. I had, uh, had to figure out a new way to play video games. I had to like, you know, like I was playing so weird. And then, um, yeah, the main part was just uh, changing my shirt. That was the part that sucked. I could put on my pants. I, like, I, had, I had to like MacGyver it, but I could do it. But uh, yeah, and then went back to school. That's when I got famous, bro. I was like, oh. This is the guy that dislocated his elbow. I'm gonna turn around. Oh, I'm, I'm saw again. Um, and then I was, uh, I went back to school. You know, everybody named me the guy that dislocated his elbow, and uh, everybody was checking out my arm. I had to learn how to write on my left, and I had to learn to do a lot of things on my left. Hey, <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> but that's the first thing they brought up. And, you know, you would think that, you know, a guy would be the first to bring it up, you know. You know what I'm talking about, you know, with a little, you little sickos, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But, um, no, it was actually a girl. It was actually a girl, the first first person that brought it up like that. We we're in PE again, and I was trying to shoot on my left. And uh, she said, she said, uh, so how do you, and I was like, I just looked at her, I was like, you are disgusting. You are really disgusting. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on your soul. And then, yeah. It was a girl. The first, a girl was the first person to ask me the nasty question, you know. And I was just like, <laughs> you're sick. But I thought it would be a guy. But it wasn't. But yeah. I had to go to physical therapy for uh, a good month. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get my arm fully straightened out, but... You know it is what it is it's it's okay though I had to learn how to shoot 
I had to learn a new way to shoot, so I started shooting like Lonzo Ball, and yeah, ever since then, I, sometimes I feel like f flares, just like little nervous flares of pain, and uh, that's about it, yeah, and sometimes it feels a little like uneasy, I don't know if, but if, like for people who have broken or dislocated something, like, you ever get that feeling of like uneasiness when you're doing like a lot of work and you put a lot of pressure on your arm? Yeah, that's what it is what I feel sometimes and not lately because lately I've been you know your boy's been hitting the weight room I'm just kidding no, I haven't been hitting the weight room but I just been working out you know a little calisthenics you know get the blood flowing you know you know gotta gotta keep this temple healthy yeah but yeah that's it I'm walking home with my dog right now I had a pretty good day I didn't do much and I'm just doing the reason why I'm doing these videos is because again I'm so bored and um yeah, this is something I've always really always wanted to do and I just want to see how people like it see if I'm pretty decent at it and yeah peace out brother Blah!